Tonight, six players are about to play for a shot at one million dollars. Get ready for the most futuristic poker superstructure ever imagined. The Poker Dome. Competitors from around the world have returned to Las Vegas for a million dollar chance of a lifetime. Look out for this cool and confident Seattle man. Carl Olson is back at the Poker Dome with a shot at the million dollar table. Five weeks ago, this Canadian played with stake free poker to win at the Dome. Tonight, Zach Williamson has returned to Las Vegas, looking to repeat his remarkable feat against the stacked field. Traveling almost halfway around the world to return to Las Vegas is England's Ryan Hall. He used an aggressive approach to capture his first rounder, and he won't back off tonight. Our most accomplished and experienced player in tonight's million dollar qualifier is Arizona's Dennis Waterman. Three weeks ago, he dominated his qualifying table to earn this return trip to the Dome. Talk about a chip in a chair. This Nebraskan authored one of the best comebacks in Poker Dome history. Extremely short stack. Jason Phipps played with patience and intuition to claim his seat tonight. Our last million dollar qualifying spot went to Canada's Clayton Mosden in bizarre fashion. Clayton moved on when his heads up opponent was disqualified after two abusive language penalties. The players have arrived. Tonight, $50,000 is up for grabs. And one player behind this door will advance to our grand finale and a chance for one million dollars. This is the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. Unmistakable Las Vegas, Nevada, where we're coming to you from the historic downtown district at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, the home of the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. The Poker Dome is set and open for business. The contestants are wearing heart monitors, and the proper measures have been taken to ensure that the players will not be in contact with any of the audience. Now it's time to play speed poker at the Poker Dome where the studio audience can look in, but when it's time to play speed poker, the players cannot see out. Welcome to the game, everybody. What a night we have in store tonight. We will fill the sixth and final seat at our million dollar table. I'm Barry Tompkins, you know my partner, the noted poker author, Michael Koenig. Leanne Tweeden will join us as well. One of the six players seated at our table tonight in the Dome will join the likes of Minnesota's Andrew Rogers, Rodell Toison, who came to us from Iowa, Virginia's Jerry Schrader, Ben Ludwig from Pennsylvania, and Britain's Rob Sherwood at the Million Dollar Table. That comes up one week from tonight. And, Michael, we have six very qualified players today. They had to earn their way here, and it wasn't always easy. Who do you like? You hit the nail on the head, Barry. Everybody here earned their spot at the Dome. They had to overcome massive fields of online qualifiers and stiff competition in the Dome. But the guy that I think displayed the most professional poker skills, the guy who I think can write his ticket to the million-dollar table, Carl Olson. I also thought Dennis Waterman showed consummate professionalism. I look for those two to be the front runners tonight. All right, so that's who should win. Find me a dark horse in there. <laughs> a horse player always needs a trifecta, and tonight I think that man could be Jason Phipps. He has overcome enormous odds just to get here to play, and who knows, he may have that good luck streak riding all the way to the million dollars. All right, then here Thanks. are the Steve Simon, Zach Williams, the captain, seat one. He's followed by Waterman, and then Olsen next to him. Then it's England's Ryan Hall in seat four, Phipps, and Mazda. And with that, we are playing speed poker here in the Poker Dome. Incidentally, get 15 seconds to act. And the first to act is Jason Phipps. You see the clock on the right of your screen there. Uh -oh. It ticks down. The player is out of line. Uh -oh. Williams has got the goods. Oh. And I believe he's going to win two chips. Good chance. Good chance of that. Raise <laughs> pot. Lines are a thousand. One raises to four thousand. 
pass. And only pot limit before the flop, so Zach Williamson can only juice it up so much. He will have no takers, and there he shows his aces. That's how we're doing That's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. You're about an hour and 45 minutes from now. Barry, we normally don't talk about the seat draw, but I think tonight it's important. When you have six very accomplished players, where you end up seated is super crucial. And in this case, Carl Olson, that man right there, actually got a good draw because the other very strong professional player at this table, Waterman, is directly to his right. So two players to the flop. Three jacks, seven on the flop. Checking. C4 checks. Oops, I'm away from the Go ahead, check, check. Call those fips as nothing. It doesn't know he has some. C4 checks. C5 checks. I'll check it. C4 checks. Two. C5 checks. C4 checks. So fips will take it down. Doesn't get anything out of it either. For those of you who are new to speed poker, here is the way it works. There are six players, two dealers, and just 15 seconds to act. Each player is dealt two down cards and must decide whether to call, raise up to the pot limit, or fold within 15 seconds. Two or more players remain in the hand. Community cards are dealt. The first three cards are called the flop. Then they're followed by a round of betting, where all players can then go all in. Next comes the fourth card, called the turn. More betting. And finally, the fifth card, called the river. Remaining players can bet one more time, then show their hands. In all cases, the best five-card hand wins and takes the pot. Each player can use one 30-second time extension button per match prior to heads up. Each player has one time extension in heads up play. That is speed poker. Yeah, we're playing for a lot of money, $50,000 to the winner of this table, but more important than that, a one in six chance of winning a million dollars. Pull. Seat one pulls. Three. A little bit better Seat than two your favorite scratch. Pull. Seat four pulls. Yeah. I'll call. In fact, I don't think you'll find a better deal in Vegas. <laughs> Waterman just kind of testing the waters here. Tried to get in very cheap with suited connectors. Looking for clubs and little cards, and he has the best hand. Yes, he does. You see Hall's heart rate, 145. Six. Waterman, six, even the last time, I don't out. recall his heart getting much over 100. He's the yogi at our table. <laughs> Very spiritual fellow, and that oh, tends to keep everything in perspective. Very much into Zen, actually, lives in Sedona, Arizona. More people are into Zen than art. So, one of them will take this one down. We're just getting out of the way. 